I'm here at Anime LA, Evil Ted. I just want to make a big shout out and a birthday wish to my friend, Benetiro. If you guys are not familiar with him, be sure to check out his videos. And also, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Benetiro. Thank you for hanging out and being creative with everybody else. As you are probably interested in JoJo cosplay by clicking on this video, I will be aiding you in the process of crafting Mr. Guido's signature headgear from scratch, as seen in my cosplay photo here. But before we start, help me to defeat the evil stand user, Algorithm, by ordering the like and subscribe buttons an odd number of times. When making a custom head pattern, I wore a beanie, then placed a more snug plastic bag over the assumed covered areas of my head, according to how Mista wears his cowl. The reason for the beanie underneath is to account for comfort, as well as hair to maintain a cling to it so it doesn't fly off. I opted for recruiting assistance from my friend Monse, a fellow cosplayer, to tape the contours of the beanie while worn under the bag. Her link will be located in the description below. The aim is to have more coverage than would be needed in order to draw up where the main shapes land. Step 2. Use two different colored markers for testing and final markings of the center line from the forehead around to the lower base of the neck. Use a tape measure to exact the contoured cut lines so the pattern can lay flat in conjunction with where the grid lines would look most correct. Symmetry is key here, so measurements within the parameters of the desired arrow centered on the forehead and border lines of the cowl use visible markings. The other side should look three dimensional like that, and then I cut off the M kind of shape, and that's where I had the indicator markers right there marked with a V. And uh, those are registration marks to make sure I align everything. Imagine a mirror finish, I rolled it over, placed my finger, and then marked the dots where the intersections were on the corresponding mirror side by taping it there so it wouldn't come apart, unravel basically. Do you know the way? <laughs> I'm Ugandan Knuckles! You see my my echidna like spikes right there? Okay, that's a bad joke. I'm sorry guys. Step 3. Cut out and transcribe the patterns onto mirrored panels of the specified liner and outer shell fabrics. Make a note to double check the markings are on the wrong side of the fabrics. When cutting out the fabric, give around a half inch sewing allowance, then pin the adjacent fabric to correlate pattern lines. Here I pin through the line on one side, then adjust the other panel to poke through the line on the receiving end. Congratulations! You've reached a checkpoint! Take a- Hold up a minute! Side quest. And be sure to check out the debut of my online storefront of merch designed by me. A portion of the price goes directly into supporting the channel. All of my inspirations are a mashup of ideas and can reflect a meta sense of humor that I hope brings joy to mutual fans when you sport your favorite merch. Link to the store is in the description, and make sure to tag me using the hashtag AHeroStyle on all the socials. Step 4. I opted for working on the liner first to test the proper fit, then moved on to the outer shell sewing. The subtle M shape that meets the Air Nomad arrow pointing down was made by tracing onto the interfacing the non-adhering side, then ironed onto the fabric of the proper color. These panels are joined by edging material as bordered, matching the reference. Working around the tighter angles of the arrow played tricks with my eyes on symmetry, but at some point I just moved on and made permanent bonding. Taking my pattern from this, and this, and the arrow pattern, to my bad boy with the liner right here, woo! Look at that. Mmm, so proud. Step 5. By design, the contoured cut lines would also indicate where to sew the grid lines by the grid fabric. I did in fact iron press matching white fabric in order to stay consistent for the lack of different width ribbon while still maintaining the same fabric. It's quite a boring process ironing so I didn't bother recording any footage. The alternative would be resorting to a ribbon of different widths in order to obtain the look that you're going for, but I found it kind of difficult to match different widths of ribbon and still having the same consistent look. So I made it myself. 
Step 6. Similar to the method in making the airbender arrow shape, I traced a bunch of circle buttons that I felt was a proper scale to the opening in the grid shapes, heat bonded the adhesive side to the desired dot fabric, cut out the dot circles, then glued the edges to prevent fraying. An extra step to ensure proper drying is to pin and position the dots into a base cardboard or foam to air dry the dots edging. These dots are not without flaws because I've had some incomplete circles in order to achieve the attachment of them. But in order to counter that, I've been pulling the threads from the bottom because they are looser and I'm going to resolve the solution so they look tighter like this. Initially my first stitch was like so and they were a little bit too wide so I fixed that by using a tighter stitch. Step 7. Make sure to account for folded symmetry on the edging from one side to the other. Trust me, it can make you very frustrated to have to pull the seams after being so focused on matching exactly for the most part of the project thus far. But I'm making it work, and these things, oh boy, this will save you on tight corners, guys. Once finished, you'll be ready to torture dance your way into a new cosplay headshot for Instagram. Speaking of which, follow me on Instagram for visual and caption updates. Follow me on Twitch where I work on live progress and gaming. Follow my Twitter for random reactions and the new fleets, Twitter's own version of the stories. I'd like to thank Evil Ted Smith for introducing my channel and all the work that he does to help us out in our cosplay needs. Yes, it is my birthday, so if you guys could, check out the merch store once again, it's linked in the description below, where designs I drew up myself. A lot of effort went into drawing and making these products available to you guys, so all the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments below if there are any questions, comments, or if you have a favorite JoJo moment. I want to know too, because I'm a fan and I'd like to vibe out with you guys. Make sure to explore your true potential and be the hero of your own story.